Hi students, welcome to today's class. Are you fine dears? Good. Today we are starting a new chapter, chapter 13, A Glimpse of India. In this unit, we will discuss about the diversities in India's physiography, rivers, climate, soil types, natural vegetation and animal life. India is located between the latitudes 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degrees 6 minutes north and the longitudes 68 degrees 7 minutes east and 97 degree 25 minutes east. It is the seventh largest country in the world and has an area of 3.28 million square kilometers. Students, now look at this picture. It shows a house in an interior village in Jammu and Kashmir. You can see the valley of the Himalayan mountain ranges clad with snow in the background of the house built with locally available materials. The part of the Himalayas in India stretches over a distance of 2400 kilometers between Jammu and Kashmir in the northwest and Arunachal Pradesh in the northeast. A majority of regions in Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram and Tripura are part of these mountain ranges. Generally, this physiographic unit is known as the Northern Mountain Region. The loftiest parts of the Himalayas remain covered in snow throughout the year. There is no permanent human settlement. Lofty peaks like the Kanchanjunga and Nanda Devi are parts of the Himalayan mountain ranges. The Mount Everest in Nepal is the highest peak in these ranges. Rivers such as the Indus, the Ganga and the Brahmaputra originate from the Himalayan mountain ranges. Cold is less severe in the southern parts of the snow-clad mountain ranges. Several hill stations such as Shimla, Darjeeling, Kulu and Manali are located in this picturesque region. The important crops here are potato, barley and several varieties of flowers including saffron. Tea, apple and orange are also grown in this region. To the extreme south of the Himalayas, the hills are of low elevation. Different types of crops are cultivated in this region. This is the most densely populated zone in the northern mountain region. This valley zone is composed of thick deposits of sand, mud and pebbles brought down by the rivers originating from the snow-covered Himalayas. Importance of the Northern Mountain Region Shall we see how the Northern Mountain Region is beneficial to us? Influences the climate It protects us from the cold winds blowing from Central Asia during winter. The northern mountains block the monsoon winds and cause rainfall all over North India. Natural Barrier To a certain extent, these mountain ranges have been protecting us from the invasions of the Northwest invaders since ancient times. Next, Source of Rivers The Indus, 
the Ganga and the Brahmaputra and their several tributaries originate from these mountain ranges. So students, today we discussed about the northern mountain region and the importance of this region. That's all for today. We'll meet you in the next class with the continuation of this chapter. Thank you.